Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mariovania. During the last part, I was able to finally destroy the Twomp Destroyer, which caused so many problems earlier. With its massive 6000 HP health pool and all of its latest weaponry, it caused so much of a problem that I had to t sidetrack and explore other parts of the castle, only to be forced back here because this is the only other place I can go forward to. And somehow, due to a miracle, I was able to get it the first time uh, in my second set, which is why I didn't need to edit it out. Boy, I wonder how difficult it's going to be in the boss rush. And as promised, I updated the game to the, to the latest version, so as you can see here, you can see that there are some minor icons in, next to, in some of the rooms. That in any case that I will have to go back there because there are shadow blocks or other relics or other interesting items that I will need to collect. After all, there is a whole nother world I apparently need to explore, so the 30% isn't exactly accurate. After all, it is modeled after Symphony of the Night. And for my last left off, I made it to the clock tower, so let's see if I survive there. I'm very low in, uh, in terms of stars, so I'll need to get some extra stars. Interesting. Okay, and here is an explanation about the status. We have good, poison, curse, and stone. Always want good, of course, aka normal. Poison we already encountered earlier, gradual HP degradation. And we'll kill you, it won't set you to 1 HP. Okay, curse drains your mana. Okay, so you can't really use magic there. Stone makes you immobile, I already saw that, and has your defense. And so just keep mashing the jump key. But poison and curse cannot be broken without wearing them out or using a special item. Okay, let's see what this area is. So this is the clock tower, we have stony koopas. Of course we have the bullet bills, what, or the rocket engines as they're called. Wonderful. Sadly I can't destroy them. Oh boy, we have the flying Ko uh, the stony koopas. I wonder if we can actually get the cape item from them or something. Oh. Okay, interesting, so I can jump on the gears. Oh, whoa. That was a sneak attack. Just like Castlevania, technically. Oh, whoa. Okay, so we actually have a, a non-novice ninja. And boy, they jump a lot. I, they don't deal that much damage, thankfully, but unlike the novice versions, yeah, they'll be quite of a nuisance, especially at tougher platforming segments. Wow, enemies here barely do any damage to me. I guess that's because I level grinded. It's it, From the start, it seems a lot easier compared to the weapons factory. I wonder if the map got changed a little bit, because I know there's a new item near at the, at the first area of the castle, so when I return back there, I'll show you where I can get it. I'll show where you, you're, you can get it, at least. I'm also surprised that you can actually make it here without the wall jump, but it is a little bit difficult. Especially, I find it surprising that we still have enemy strengths uh, back at the Kordos Infinity, as compared to the huge difficulty jump compared, well, well, compared to the whole huge difficulty jump at the weapons factory. This is a lot simpler. I feel like the areas should have been flipped over or something. And I think this uh, this music team came from Castle, one of the Castlevania GBA titles. Oh boy. Well, there's something over there, I suppose. I gotta be a little bit careful while making these jumps, though. Oh boy. After all, I don't want to know what happens if I fall on the spikes. Hopefully not instant death. That would be kind of lame. Oh. We get Blast. And a red coin. 1,000 coins. That'll be useful. Too bad it's only single use. Okay, what's Blast do? Wow, this has four levels. Hmm. And it uses the same amount of MP as the Fire Flower, but it does slightly more damage. However, it's only short-ranged. Oh. Only short-ranged, though. This is going to be quite interesting to use. I'll definitely try it out. Well, I was a little bit close. I suppose these spikes do bash damage, but you can't be too sure. Ow. 
This is going to be useful for more stationary enemies like the Goomba Falloon from earlier. So, yeah, I'm not going to be using it now because it's too close range, but I will use it more in the future and do some off-screen level grinding. And I suppose these Stony Koopas can stone me, so I better be cautious there. How much XP do these? Not that much, of course. They are easier versions. This area would be a lot more challenging if I didn't have the wall jump, because then I would have to do the super jumps. Oh, you. Not nice to see you. Um, I'll go left. That seems to be a dead end there, so there's bound to be a, a save block or something. Even the A flying M something, that's a really abbreviated name. Two coins. Yep, save block. I'll definitely use this. Although I don't think it's going to be th this area is going to be that difficult. It seems that it'll be merging onto the area that's eastward of the corridors of, I mean the Skyfall Sanctuary. So I suppose we'll hit the block from there. We have a lot of other colored switch blocks to hit after all. But if this falls Castlevania trends, then we're going to be fighting death at the end of this area. Oh, okay, it's not instant dead. It only deals 20 damage, actually. Not bad. Ah, uh, this is going to be a slight problem. Ow. Especially with all the enemies here. Well, okay. I suppose you need the wall jump to get it past here, otherwise you won't... I'll make it, ow. That's what I'm worried about, sneak attack enemies. Uh, let's go right. I want to explore the dead ends just in case you have some extra treasure or something. Hmm, something is over there, but... Hmm. Sure, I'm gonna take the ow hit. Multiple hits. Well, it's not that bad, but I get- and I get a mana bottle too. Let's see... Unfortunately... That's not going to be that useful. There's... One of the new items added, or actually moved to the beginning of the castle. That's going to be quite useful, especially if I use a lot of items. From what I saw from the uh, patch notes. So, when I get back to the beginning of the area, as I said before, I will explore that. Very vertical area, of course. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, if I just damage boosted, I could have made it. Uh, running is a little bit slippery, so I, got, I gotta let go of the run command on occasion. Um, let's go this way and see what, what's up here. Oh, warp pipe. That's going to be useful. So when I need to return here, I'll just continue on. I suppose this is going to loop up to the boss or some... Oh, if it does loop up to the boss, I think I should reach a save point now. Where's the closest? It's always going to be the castle entrance. Let me take a short detour, save, because I suppose there's going to be a boss and I really don't want to die at this point. After all, I'm making much better progress than I was in the previous few parts. Seriously, this one would have been a lot smoother if if, if the areas were uh, ranged differently so that uh, the clock tower came before the machine w or basically the weapons uh, factory. Because the weapons factory was such a huge and Increase in terms of difficulty, in my mind at least. Alright, back to the clock tower. Also, you may have noticed that the Spinies have new sprites. The Goombas have it as well. And I suppose some other future enemies. Okay, another one of these spike rooms. Oh. Oh, ow. Okay, that really wasn't how I anticipated. Hmm.
Huh, this leads up to nowhere, so... Hmm. Okay, I need Castle Map 4 to see what's over there, so... I'll come back there eventually. Ow. Okay, so that's how I need to get up then. Oh, for... Whoa, whoa. Calm down, Mario. Any spring? Hmm, how do I get up here? I bet there's a way to get up there. I think I'm missing something some... Oh. Oh, I missed... Okay, so I think I'll get there eventually, but I need the high jump. Or whatever the high jump boots are, or... Maybe the cape. I need to go down here and connect to the left area. That's what I was missing. Ow. Phew, at least I'm not trapped. Yeah, that's what I was missing. And this should connect to the other... Uh, connect to another area. Ow. Oh, ninjas. That's what I'm getting really worried about. And I can't really just hold the run button because Mario is kind of slippery. There we go. That's what it links up to, so... Okay, I suppose we're entering the Skyfall Sanctuary. That's really a, an abrupt shift between areas, though. Oh, we're... Never mind, we're in the Tangled Garden. I didn't actually expect to the Tangled Garden to... Wrong way, sorry. I didn't actually expect the Tangled Garden to connect all the way up to here. But then again, based on the area map, it does make sense. So we have Pokies, which... Which you can't really attack using a stomp because they're spiky, of course. Too bad we don't have Yoshi. And now I have enough stars to use my items, so I might as well. Hmm. Well, okay, I'll follow you. Oh. Hello. Hello, Holy Kumba. Ow. 50 dragon coins. And we get the Spring Brute. Ooh, jump after double jump to make a triple jump. Okay, so now I can jump even more high, ridiculously high. It's going to be kind of annoying to use, though. So now I can, so I can now I can go up the the upper region on the right side of the map, and I suppose I can enter the Cordos Infinity connection area over there. So a lot of new paths are opening up. I really wish I could hit the red switch block, though. And I just wonder what's on the bottom right part of the map, though. Well, I need to be able to run faster for that. Wait, how did it work again? Oh, jump after triple... If I can understand how to do it correctly, I'll get there. A lot of volcanic lotuses here. This is one of those places where Spark will be really useful, but... You know what? Let's switch to Bla- I mean, uh, Blast for- just for change. And it actually double hits them. Yeah, I'll definitely use Blast for now, just to show it off. Hmm... I'm gonna take the upper route. I'm really suspicious that something's... If I can time it right... That's my problem with the, using the high jump in the first place. Let's see if I can get a running start. This is gonna take a few attempts. Yep, you jump even higher after using the triple jump. 
Oh goody, this is gonna take this is gonna become a problem in the near future. I know that for a fact. I'll see what's over there soon enough. And we get the magic beat root. Ah, breakable walls. I really wish that they mentioned that in the first area because from what I've heard, there is one secret area in the first... There's one secret place in the first area of the game that does hold a very important and useful item. Magic beat. Interesting, what is... Oh, that's the wrong one. So we need to use bad... Okay, um... That crushes like boulder. Oh, interesting. Well, I'll jump down there now, apparently. Oh, um... I didn't mean to go down that way. Let's reverse my steps. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use this Crusher ability. Hmm, let's see what's on the left then, because I fell a little... Whoa. That's not what I meant to do. Hello, Pokey. Hmm... Well, at least there is a place where I can jump. Oh yeah, this is going to be really wonderful in terms of close range damage. As well as finding the bottom, bottom of my secrets. I know there's a tutorial for it just over there if I can get to there. The only problem is for enemies who move around a lot. There we go. And there's the other side of the map, which I couldn't access before, but now I suppose I can jump. With the triple jump, I suppose I could make that jump m myself if I... If I can time it right, the problem is, with the triple jump, just like the, tri the, the so double jump, it's always hard to make that jump. What does that switch do? As I was saying, just like the double jump, the triple jump timing is rather precise. Too precise for my taste, personally. But I'm going to be using this for a while, especially because it does bash damage. And I really want to see if there's any secrets. Like that one, apparently. I have a hunch how to get that. Oh, never mind, I can actually damage Pokey by myself. Interesting. Suppose I need to hit multiple switches in order to get across something. Of course, only jumping works on these. And I can actually jump on, the pa on these Volcano Lotuses for some... Odd reason. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, so that's how I get it. If I time it correctly, this is gonna take a little bit while a little bit of while getting used to. I need a running start too. Okay, what did that turret switch open, though? Hmm... Let's explore and see what's up here, then. On the other side. Hmm, I wonder why the butt stomp actually be is able to pierce through its shield. Oh, venomous spinies. 
They make their return. Well, at least these do a ton of damage. Wonderful. More stars. Okay, every power-up, one-up mushroom, mana mushroom, and stamina will be permanently increase one of your vital stats. HP, MP, and stars respectively. One-up mushrooms mostly come from bosses, starman scattered everywhere, but most important and rarest, mana mushrooms add has an additional effect. Wow, that's actually extremely powerful when you think about it, because one of my major complaints is mana regenerating slowly. Well, that, that'll fix that problem. So my max mana has gone up, and now my mana regenerates twice as fast. Thank goodness, thank you game. I wish I could have it before the Twomp Destroyer, but hey, I'm not complaining, at least I have it now. Now let's see what's happening up here. Wonderful level up. It's going to be useful for the next boss fight, I suppose. I should be able to make it with a triple jump. What's in here? Just stars. And we got some uh, ninja pads. Here's some of the breakable blocks, of course. I'm going. I really am going to be using that in the future. More ninja pads. Ah, I hate when that happens. And now I'm poisoned. Seriously, poison is the only stat that really scares me because it seems to be percentage based. Again, again with the venomous spinies falling from the sky. That's really annoying. There we go. Made it up again. Let's see here. And nothing of use here, sadly. Except this boomerang. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, knife. Hmm. That does a ton of damage. I'm definitely going to switch that. Unfortunately, it's going to drain my stars like crazy. Let me see what's up to the left of me and see if I can collect it. Not to mention getting 100 coins each time is a is a pretty good is a pretty good trade off as well. All right, I'm back at the clock tower, back to the point where I couldn't progress. So I need to do triple jumps here. Oh boy. Hmm, this is going to be a timing challenge. If I can just time it, then I'll be able to make it up there. Of course, if I just fall back down, it's going to be a problem. There we go. I got an action early attempt. 
Okay, I'll accept that. Okay, thankfully the stone actually freezes me in place. Otherwise that would be even more of an anno- that would be really annoying, whoa. What's over here now then? Hmm, we have two split paths. One goes up there, one connects back to Skyfall Sanctuary. Oh, and these bounce in midair, that makes them even better. Bounces off the parabeetle, so... Hello, Sniffits. I'm gonna follow this all the way up and see what happens before I connect the path down. Uh, that was my mistake. As I was saying, let me just go see how far it goes up, especially with my increased mana regen. I think I'll be able to take on a boss. Well, I suppose that is on the top of the boss, uh, top of this tower. Seeing it, if this falls to Castlevania tradition, he might as well be there. After all, this is Dracula's castle and Bowser took it over. Are we going to be fighting Dracula as a secret boss or something? Yep, there it is. As expected, there, there is the boss door. Well, I did save, so let's see how it goes. Hmm. Oh. Jump! And I failed to jump, so I instantly die. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. Well, I suppose it's just... I already had pre preparation uh, from, what was that area called? Oh yeah, from the weapons factory and the Twomp Destroyer. Of course, it's less time here. Okay, let's try again. And I was right, like Calf Castlevania tradition, we have debt. Although, not like Castlevania tradition, he can instantly kill you. Oh, I still wish that Mario's jump, I mean, run wasn't so slippery. At least the save point is relatively close by too, so it isn't much of a frustrating frustrating experience to get back. Jump! Okay, let's do this. Uh I think the fire flower would be better. He should be weak against light based attacks. Oh, whoa. Okay. Fair enough. Oh whoa, he's firing the dead lasers as usual. Oh boy. Charging, he's just sucking up everything, of course. Okay, not that much, not that bad in terms of damage, not as bad as the Twomp Destroyer was. Sorry if I keep comparing it to him. Oh, um, not bad actually. Oh boy. Oh, sorry, that was my... F oh boy, he's in his second phase, yikes. I guess you can see where he's gonna do, a, uh, Trotos. Oh. Okay, he's sucking up everything now. I don't think the, the boomerang's the best job for this. Sure, let's go with knife. Ow. Yep, knife is better. Oh, he's going to sp Okay, at least I can see what he's doing to do that. Oh boy. That isn't really a good sign. Uh... I don't have that much health, actually. Oops. It's okay if I die. This fight, boss fight is at least more fair than the Twomp Destroyer ever was. Now, yeah, let's just use... Just for... I'm just gonna use the Hyper Mushroom and grind off screen if necessary. I wish I had the ability to fire straight.
And we have to be... Okay, so he was very close to dying in the first place. I was going to say I wish I had an ability to fire straight with a magic item, but I guess that would be kind of overpowered. Well, there's the traditional death encounter. As I keep saying, much more fair compared to the Twomp Destroyer was. Oh, and we got an item. Relic. Durable paint patch. Duck on slopes to slide. Aha! I remember one slope at, at the Cortis Infinity which connected to the other area. To the southeast, so now I can actually get there fast enough in order to access that area. But, I suppose we've gone over 30 minutes, so I'll end this part over here. So to summarize what I got in this part, I completed the clock tower, got two new interesting relics, the ability to triple jump, and the ability to slide on slopes, as well as some unique magic, specifically the ability to use Blast, the Magic Beat Root, which I'm going to be using a lot, and the ability to use Boomerangs, uh, thanks to the Boomerang uh, Koopas. So in the next part, I'll open up the connection from the east to the Skyfall Sanctuary, I suppose that's what the next area is supposed to go through is, and then backtrack all the way downwards and explore Korra's Infinity, then the southern eastern part. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day! Toodles!